Tip. He had 10 points in the win against Philadelphia. Now the pass to Irving. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. And Embiid with the block. One of the premier shot swatters in the world. The length of Embiid makes it hard to be. Here's Green following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Davis looking for an opening. Here's LeBron, and LeBron throws it down. That's not the defense gets lucky there. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Lakers have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far. And they've been ordinary on the season as well, just about 75% from the line. And so he makes both from the line. He is pursuing greatness. Now here is Harris. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Good on the bucket. Irving's got six. Just setting. Harris inside. Working on Green. Harris no good. Back to Davis. And Davis throws it down hard. Oh, my goodness. AD wanted them to feel that one. Davis boosts his whole team with that explosiveness. He's smart to acknowledge the great role players on this Lakers team. Guys, thanks so much, David. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. There's the three. Nailed from three-point land. But he can't get that one to go. Offensive rebound. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for Brooklyn. Four-point game. And this matchup with the Lakers, it's their game against the Knicks. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. Well, how about the job they got from their bench? That productivity. When it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now, here is Irving. 27 points last game. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71 percent. Five for seven. Here's Green. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Caruso kicks to Green. And here's Davis for three. And the slam dunk by McGee. Good to see a player going. Jordan, the pass to Musa. Six on the shot clock. Off the left rim and out. The Lakers trail. On the wing, Green. And that one falls, coming off of Davis's feed. Johnson outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. 
to the middle. Here's McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. And remember, here with the nine-point run. Caruso, the pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. A three ball. And the Lakers get it back. Count it. Davis has got the lead up to eight now for the Lakers. Here's Luwum, guarded by Green. Crawford with the ball. Let's the three fly. Drills the three-pointer. Crawford's got six. And with that three-pointer, how about ending that 11-0 run by Los Angeles? And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Lakers lead by five. Concerns people may have had with this team. Proven they are truly an upper echelon club. McGee with the block. We've got Johnson. Crawford out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Durant. And it's Embiid in at the five. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. McGee trying to break free. And he comes up with the deuce. Right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now. Massive. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest forcing the miss. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Crawford's got nine. Boy, what wonderful vision. Kevin Durant with a picture-perfect pass. Woo-hoo! passes to LeBron. Traps in the tray. And the one here. Crawford kicks to Irving. To the paint. There's Embiid. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got four assists now tonight. He's obviously hit a, a bit of a dry spell here. Only one of five this quarter. Inside. Here's Davis. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. They trail by 18. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Kevin, thank you. Now, we have seen continued growth with the NBA's affiliated leagues the last few years. Think about the explosion in popularity of G League pathway, along with the unionization of G League players. The league continues to show its commitment to expanding opportunities on multiple levels. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. He's been a... James finds Davis, fades back. I love the energy of Kevin Durant on the defensive end, long and tall, and does a great job contesting without fouling. And now the pass break, Schroeder with the ball. And after really leaning on that three... Stolen by McGee. Now Schroeder, he's got 12, and Durant sends it back. But Kevin Durant is playing spectacular defense, and it sets the tone for the entire team. The three from Johnson. Rebound the Lakers. McGee's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. To the inside, James. And James throws it down. Well, when LeBron James is starting to... Pass to Crawford. Back to KD. From deep three-point range, from beyond the arc, and then some. KD, Schroeder, outside. Shot clock at five. Power down with both hands. Dynamite job rebounding the basketball. And no issues fighting it out against the big guys down low. Here's KD. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. KD. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. So we get going in quarter number four. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. And there's JaVale McGee. And it's Schroeder in at the shooting guard by 13. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Johnson. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Johnson. You just love an easy look. And it's Cook missing. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting around 41% on the night. Irving passes to Durant. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. KD's got five points now in the quarter. Over to the left wing. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And how about the payback there, guys? You do you, I do me. Oh, you love to see the competitive fire. A little bit of pride at stake. 
That one is good from Joel Embiid. And of the last six. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. McGee, the pass to Cook. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. In this league right now. Jordan, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good. Is flat out a difference maker. He understands how to play to his strengths. Down low. And the dunk by James. Oh, taking it. Rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. It's stolen by Harris. Oh, and here comes Johnson all alone. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Boy, Tyler Johnson right there, strong enough to power through the contact. Now, they led by as many as 18 points. Here's Davis, and finished off by Davis. The foul couldn't hold Davis down. His scoring ability is just that strong. Jordan inside, working on Howard. Harris finds Johnson. Offensive rebound, short. Basket counts. What about the intensity? Lakers have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Harris against Green. Loads it up for Davis and finished off by Davis. And I tell you, the brow is thrown up around the rim and he's bringing it home. Johnson dishes to Harris. Shoots the three. Sinks the three-pointer. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day. Here is Howard. It's Davis on the wing. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. It's like they found their rhythm offensively, and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. Friends finds Jordan. Out to Harris. The three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. This is what we call a sniper from the outside. Joe Harris, a knockdown shooter. Bradley against Johnson. That's good from Howard on the assist by Bradley. Six points for Howard. Three-pointer. Johnson can't hit. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. And this guy does it all. Davis is as complete an offensive player as we have in our league. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. That really permeates throughout your team. So those are some guys. Drew Holiday is another guy I throw mm -hmm. into that mix as well. Yeah, they all lock in. You're right. And a new group out there on the floor. For the told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. And here's Davis for three. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Davis has got 12 now in this quarter. And there isn't a lot that they're doing well right now defensively. They just seem to be disconnected defensively in the second. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Here's KD. And the basket is good. Durant's got 24. Whoa, sizzling from the field this half. And that's after a shaky start. Los Angeles leading by eight. Bradley passes to LeBron. From outside the arc. And it's good. He's made two for every one he's missed. Ten of 15 in the contest. I'll tell you, that is the area of greatest development in LeBron James's game. That incredible perimeter game that he has added later in his career. Incredible. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. James kicks to Howard. Durant with the steal. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Boy, Kate there creates off his defense an easy opportunity for his teammate. Outside breath. And he converts the layup. And the Lakers lead by nine. After being held scoreless in the first, he's turning it on here in the second. And the shot goes in. He's got 25. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. 
especially on the interior. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. In transition, here come the Nets. Yes, and the foul. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. Well, that, that's three of their last five baskets. On defense, the Nets. Four-point game. James. Count it good. And that's now 29 points for LeBron. Well, it's simply going to take more of an effort than that to deter LeBron James. The strength and the skill set are overpowering. It's good. I love that he didn't put his head down. And ultimately, he wins his first championship with the 2014 Spurs. And what a valuable piece he remains. KD finds Embiid. And good that time. Prince, that's for two. The basket good off the assist from Durant. KD's got six assists now in the game. Kicks it out to Bradley. No good from outside. Brooklyn trailing. Now, here is Irving. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. LeBron outside. Green up on top. Passes it to Howard. Lock at six. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And it's Green. Listen. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Good on the first. And so making both free throws, that'll give them the lead here. And you really can't say enough about his composure in the big moments, as cool as they come. There's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. He drops the first one, and that ties the game up. Once strictly a dominant defender, this guy can make threes. He can drive the lane. There isn't an aspect of the game where he hasn't grown. The Nets making a switch here. Embiid's checked in. Bradley against Irving. Pass to Embiid. goes to Irving. Irving's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Bradley deciding where to go with it. Here's James. Kicks it out to Bradley. Lets it go with a three. The rebound by KD. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. Irving for three. Carries it from outside. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Timeout called the Lakers. <laughs> 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. LeBron against Prince. Yes! Stepping up. Davis is a fantastic option late. You, you know with that height and skill set, he's going to get a good look. No good from Irving. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? James. And Durant sends it back. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Durant. defense the Nets the lead is two and the wide open shot from Green from outside off the mark we've got 22 seconds left in the fourth and an intentional foul right there you have to foul but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different he hits the first one and that makes it a three-point lead so he goes two for two at the line and it's a four-point ball game was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession game. Timeout called the Lakers.
We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Davis dishes to LeBron. And stolen by Prince. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. Well, you can be a second-round selection and still make it in the NBA. Joe Harris, because of his commitment to work, nice career for himself. This guy is a lights-out three-point shooter. LeBron passes to Brandon. Unloads. It's good! Yeah, and there's not a person in this building who didn't know the ball was going to LeBron, and still he delivers. And so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. You know, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. Kyrie, a top-tier matchup. I wonder if you circled this one on the calendar. Every game is like that for us, especially going forward. Um, we understand what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, the little things matter in the big picture. So we want to just come out and just have a consistent, consistency on both ends of the floor. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.